Greg, what are we working on today? Wave runners? I, I, I don't know if I could do this. Those trees are way too hype. Oh God. What are the YouTube comments gonna say? Oh man, they're gonna say I ruined them. They're gonna make fun of me. They're gonna ask to get me fired. They're gonna, they're gonna dox me. Oh man. I'm not wavy enough for this. What if they think I love Kanye the way Kanye loves Kanye? Uh, Greg, I, I don't think I can do this. I, I, I'm gonna need to take a breather. I'm, I'm gonna step outside for a sec before we start. Okay, stop! Fine! I'll do it! Hey, I'm Brian with Soil Guy Customs. Today we're going to be customizing the Yeezy 700. This is Kanye's entry into the dad shoe trend. It's been called the Wave Runner. So today, I'm going to customize it to make that name a little bit more fitting. First, we're going to remove the laces and prep the shoe. Most of the shoe is made out of a mesh or a suede material, but there are a couple spots of leather that I want to focus on with the prepare. I'm also going to be using the prepare on some of the midsole to get rid of some of the color on these little droplet effects. Uh, I'm going to fill those in with my own color later. Now that we got the shoe prepped, the midsole paint removed, I'm going to tackle the gray suede portions of the shoe. Angelus has a lot of different colors, suede dye, but I want a very specific lime green color. So I'm going to take their yellow dye with their Kelly green dye and put a little bit of the neutral to dilute the color a little bit and create a custom dye color for this shoe. On the 700s, there's a suede portion on the inside liner of the eyelets. So I'm just going to dab it a little bit on the inside just to see if that's the color I'm going for. The reason we're using suede dye instead of paint is that the suede dye is going to dry onto the suede and keep the suede's soft feel. If you want to keep the consistency and the feel of your suede, then it's important to make sure you use dye and not paint. Once you're done dyeing the suede, it's always important to take a rag and some denatured alcohol or some rubbing alcohol and just sort of dab and wipe off the excess dye that sits on top. Most of it's dried and soaked in, but you always get a little bit extra just kind of sitting there. So you want to take that off so you don't get it on anything else. Now that we got the suede dye on, I'm going to match that same lime green color on the leather portions up here using Angelus paint. So the theme I'm kind of focused on for this custom is 80s and 90s jet ski design. You know, all the bright neon colors and the funky patterns all in that sort of action sport era. Now that we've got about three or four coats of the green paint on the leather, it's time to mix some Angelus paint with Too Soft and paint the mesh liner. I'm gonna be doing a Jamaican Joy pink neon to a Tropic Sun yellow neon gradient. I'll mix each color with Too Soft individually. Too Soft, it's a one-to-one -one ratio mix. Using an angle brush sort of helps these weird shapes and these tight corners. You can just use the tip of the angle brush to set the color in. This shoe is made out of a lot of different materials. When you're working on each area, it's important just to kind of take your time, be very careful with your brush strokes. That way, instead of having to tape and retape over and over again, you can just apply to each area. It's gonna take some time and some practice, but if you're just really patient and careful with your attention, you'll be able to do it, no problem. So 
So I have the colors down. I want to just work each color into each other using the angle brush to create sort of a gradient effect. We got our gradient down and just like every time when we use too soft, we have to make sure we heat set it using our heat gun. Can't have a jet ski without a little extra splash, so now it's time to add some blue to this shoe and make it a little extra wavy. First, I'm gonna add some light blue mixed with too soft to some mesh areas of the shoe. Now I'm going to paint on the midsole with the light blue, create sort of a water splashing effect. Now I'm going to use some pale blue and a micro detail round brush to add some details, create sort of a highlight effect to the water. Now I'm going to take that same brush with some sapphire to just create some dark shadow lines in certain areas. And now we're all done painting, so the only thing left to do is add some matte finisher to the leather areas and lace them up with some oval lace lab laces. And there we have it. They're all done. We dyed the suede, we painted the leather, we painted the mesh, we painted the midsole. And these 700s are extra wavy now. And if you want to add some extra protection and life to this shoe, feel free to spray it with some water and stain repellent or some mink oil to help protect the suede. Other than that, we're all done. Thank you for watching. I'm Brian Phillips with Swell Guy Customs. You can check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Swell Guy Customs or watch me paint live on Twitch, Swell Guy Bri Bri. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.